Take a look what I found online. And what is it? And this UPS board, it's DC to DC power supply for your router maybe or for other devices okay whoa it's already turned it on and it says that it's giving 12 volts with indicating that red LED light okay I will put another two all right and take a look 12.6 volts and right now you can see on my USB doctor that is charging with 480 milliampers. Beautiful. Disconnect. And we have a 12 volt UPS system right now. You can use for your Wi Fi router, you can use for other devices, whatever you want. Nope. No bubbles. And here is the guy. In description it doesn't say nothing about the inside lithium rechargeable battery. Let's see this. Yes. It's blinking with red light. I forgot to tell you that I ordered the red one. And it's working. When it detects the solar light, it will stop blinking. That means it will blink on only at night. Nine. Nine cells times 0 0.5, that will give 4.5 volts for charging the battery. That's good. And here it is, the printed sucker board with that tiny switch with the micro USB connector, the one red LED and the super small lithium battery 3.7 volts. It says 50 milliampers. I'm going to measure the solar panel 20 milliampers at full light. That means that for two and a half hours using this small solar panel the battery will be fully charged and yes it's working like a charm beautiful and small fake alarm solar charged it's small battery but will do the job and I got it again no bubbles One. And of course, for this gadget or module, I need to read the instructions because this is something new for me. Uh, at front, we have three buttons where it says type or setup menu, cell, servo test mode, or discharge. From side, you can hook up on these pins eight testing batteries or cells. Oh, no. Yes, it's working. It's a beautiful screen. You can see the total voltage of my battery pack, which is 12.8 volts. There is three cells, one, two, three. And you can check individually each cell. The first one is four volts. The second one is also four. And the third is four volts. I'm gonna hook up the, the servo. Here it is. A small servo, very popular servo. Now it's on automatic, going from 500 to 2500. All right, I love it. It's a cheap tester for 
lithium batteries for remote control devices and for servos of course. Take a look what I found on AliExpress again. Oh, no bubbles. Really quickly, let's check if they work. And take a look for fully charged lithium battery, green LED meaning fully charged. Yes, the battery is fully charged. Oh, I have to find empty battery. And yes, we have red light meaning charging. Okay, the USB doctor is working. Plug in the connector. We have red light meaning charging. And take a look, it's pulling 920 milliampers to charge the battery. Can you see it? The charging integrated circuit is CL4056 online I found a schematic for this integrated charging circuit 4056 and the programming resistor is on pin number 2 and that resistor is this one which is the closest resistor to the integrated chip Again, no bubbles. What is happening? Are they out of bubbles? Hmm. Here it is the charger. The instruction manual is one of the most popular or most selled solar charger out there. It has a LCD screen, two USB power outputs, three push buttons at front also we have these three connectors for connecting the solar panel the battery and the load and that's it on place where it says to connect the battery I connect wires from my power supply and I'm sending 12.6 volts also I connect a small bulb as load and this button when it's pressed is activating the load turning on or off Okay, the first button is the menu button and this is the 14.4 volts is the float voltage. This one is the discharge reconnect. 10.7 volts is the discharge stop. This is the time that you need to set 24 hours and this one B1 is to select which battery you are using 12 or 24 volts. And you can see on the LCD display that there is a arrow flashing meaning that is pulling a current from solar panel and giving to the battery and when you turn on the load also it shows this sign of light bulb with arrow working great this is a small current but also I have a bigger solar panel that is giving uh, I don't know maybe 8 amperes this is the cheapest solution for charging your battery using solar panel or external power supply in different countries the price will be different I checked that is from around 3 US dollars and to 10 US dollars depends where you are living and which type you have chosen there is 10 amperes, 20 amperes like mine and 30 amperes.